It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey, Chris, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right. So we made it to another Monday. Y'all, April is flying by. Now I know y'all Taurus bitches is up here doing y'all thing and showing out and doing all that kicking and cackling, girl. But it's almost May. And you already know what time it is, bitch. Gemini's gonna stomp through this bitch like it's something stupid. What's up? What's up? What's up? Big Gemini! What's up? What's up? What's up? Big Gemini D E M I N I. We the motherfucking bitches, and you don't ask why. We the G M I N I. We the motherfucking bitches, and you don't ask why. It's Gemini. Hey! It's Gemini. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Well, shout to the Gemini that's gonna stalk through this bitch like we something stupid. Period. And oh, also, shout out to the trade that stopped me this week and said I watch Mr. Money. Shout out to the trade. The trade be watching. You hear me? Trade. DM me. I know all four of y'all niggas like, we fuck with you, nigga. What's up, nigga? Yeah, you nigga, you be talking your shit on Mr. Monday. I like it. Anyway, I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer. I wanna give a shout out to all of my friends out there that support Messy Monday. And I'm gonna say, hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Now that we got that out of the way, y'all, I didn't really keep up with the mess this week. So if I bumble over some shit, we still finna keep cackle on this bullshit because that's what we do. We like to keep cackle on the girls and talk about you. All right. It's time for us to go on again to y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Goonie News, or Goonie God rest his soul for you. Um, seriously, this ain't no joke. He passed away, he was a rapper, and um, everybody was up in a hoopla because his body was at a club standing up like he was partying on the stage. And it was a whole lot, a whole lot. Now, baby, I ain't gonna lie, I was dead. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I know you lied. My first reaction was, well, maybe the family wanted this. Maybe he wanted this, and he told them in his will, y'all, I want to go out with a bang. Y'all, I want to go out stiff on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, y'all got to grant his wish. So while the internet was talking all that shit, coming up with their assumptions and things like that, the mama finally came out, and this is what the mama said. Quite frankly, they say they don't understand the controversy surrounding all of this. Spoke with his mother tonight who says she should be able to grieve exactly how she wants. It's something that I wanted to do. That's how my kid wanted me to do it. That's how he wanted to go out. He wanted to celebrate his life, turning up, having a party. He don't want people to be sad and crying. He always want people to be happy and having fun. Even after the mama came out and said this was his final wishes and this is how he wanted it to be, somebody else was like, well, girl, my child asks for fruit snacks all the time. Am I supposed to give it to it every time? You ain't supposed to just give it because somebody asked it. And I was like, shut the fuck up. This is what this man said he wanted for his funeral. This is what the fuck he wanted. People talking about some, well, we could have had a casket on the stage instead of somebody body standing up. Well, bitch, did you go? 
did you go? If you didn't go, then shut the fuck up. This what he wanted. In the casket, out the casket, the point is he's still the same person. So it don't matter. If the mama ain't worried about it, you shouldn't be. Anyway, well, we just talked about it because this is what everybody was sitting in saying. Did you see the man? Did you see the man? I saw the man. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep it. Okay. Next to the sugar honey ice tea, we have Melorax versus Lana. Now, for those who don't know, Melorax is the ex of Kodak Black. So this is why this became messy. Like, I'm clearing my album right now, and it's been, like, difficult to deal with these men. You know what I'm saying? They, right. they don't know how to keep it business, and then they want to, like... <laughs> what do you mean by that? So, like, I don't care. Like, baby, I'm just keep it 100. It's a feature on my album um, that it was like it was difficult to clear, and they like trying to drop their nuts on me <gasps> because I won't respond to a, a DM. Now I'm like, girl, what rap nigga was it? Because girl, if you look good, bitch, you better give me some of that cookie jar. Baby, you can take all this cookies and the wrong. We come to find out, allegedly it was Kodak Black. But mind you, the song is on the album. I don't even know why we still discuss this situation anyway. So, child, Melo went on an interview, and this is what she had to say. Lotto said something on a big boy interview and she made a comment about you know trying to get a record from someone people trying to exchange sexual favors we think differently about the industry with that out there that's just life period that's any industry run the world <laughs> you feel me make the world go around so it's like and it's also Who the you? way you talk as a female you what gotta you know if you know you sexy don't show up to no studio meeting with no your titties out. He not gay. He looking at you like, damn, you mad sexy. Your titties in my face. Like, you know, you only able to put a jacket on just accordingly. Don't tempt no n Like I don't think it's tempting, it's, it's though. Tempting. Shouldn't you be free to, to come yeah, as you but are? you gotta understand you're sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna come tease. It's like, yeah, what about this song? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but... I'm gonna come humbly. No, 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 no. Go lay. Because, girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> You tried it. You are telling another woman how she's supposed to present herself accordingly and whatever the case may be. While you own the interview, titties out, sexy anyway, bitch. And that ain't the pop calling the kettle black. Is that how you say it? Fuck, I don't know because bitch, I'm gonna just say what I say. I don't mean to fuck what I say. Anyway, so um, bitch, court ball. These men need to control their damn hormones. That's what they need to do. You can go in there with some slacks on and a button down shirt like you got on a school uniform and they still gonna try to holler at you, girl. It ain't about what you wear, it's about these men. Stop making the women the victim when these men out here wandering around like scavengers, child. Girl, I know you fucking lying. It's about what you wear. If you know you sexy, you shouldn't. Bitch, if I know I'm sexy, I'm gonna make myself sexy the fuck her. Period. Don't tell me what I can and can't work because somebody can't control themselves. You got me fucked up. Bitch, if I wanna walk in that motherfucker naked, you should be able to control yourself. Hell, you talking about I'm supposed to address for somebody else's emotion, bitch. We don't tell these men to stop coming around sagging, dick print, half out, ass out. You know what I'm saying? We don't tell them that. Walk around shirt off, tatted, muscle, big, strong, too. I just, I be wanting to touch. I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put, girl, she done tried it. At this point, I'm just like, girl, next. The fuck quiet and keep performing at talent shows. Hell, how about it? Y'all better get it before we do. I guess we're gonna just keep blaming the women and not the harassment. If that's what you wanna say, sweetie, say that. All right, well, the internet cooked her up real bad and she came back with an apology and it's what her apology stated. This bullshit. Now, I'm not gonna read all this because it's a fucking lie, but she said her words was misconstrued and all this other stuff. But what really got me was the wordage. She's using, um, <laughs> what she said? Nurturing it. And how I choose to navigate going into places that are not geared for, bitch, wait a minute, who the fuck wrote this for you? Cause the way you was talking in that interview don't add up to the way these words is following in order in this apology letter. Who wrote this? Now, word of the curve is she's actually intellectual and very smart. So, uh, you know, maybe she did write this, but she just had a cuckoo moment on the interview. I don't know, child, you know, girl, maybe she was just, I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but she was doing it. Okay, anyway, if you want to call that dick back, just say that. What? 
Wear what you want to wear and be you. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next to the sugar honey iced tea is T.I. Now, baby, I'm all for everybody doing whatever it is that you want to do, but sometimes some things aren't for everybody. But who am I to say? Because, you know, when we all start off with something new, we have a bumpy road. Anyway, T.I. went to a comedy club here in Atlanta, Georgia, and while he was out there, there was a young lady who was on the stage, and she mentioned something about, you know, his incident, you know, that him and his wife were going through months back. Evidence, because there was no fucking crime. There is nothing to charge me for. Or if you don't know, you know, shut the fuck up for a second. Hey, listen. No, no, no. As many times as you jump on that shit, I'm going to check your mother as long as it takes. When you stop talking about it, when you stop playing with me and mine, I'm going to stop saying something. Girl, ain't no motherfucking case. Ain't never been no motherfucking case. Because I ain't did nothing wrong, and my wife ain't did nothing wrong. And if you keep on playing with me, nigga, I'm going to motherfucking continue to confront you publicly, verbally. <laughs> She mentioned it because T.I. has called her out her name and that's why she mentioned it. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Funny. She then goes home and she gets on her social media and she lets the kids know what really went down and why she said what she said. So I'm going to explain this one time. This is about what happened at one night only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and T.I. T.I. came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next I'm hosting. I'm talking about marriage. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut the f up, calling me all kind of b heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy. You keep going and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times. Take your wig off right now. Cutting me off. Take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This is literally going on and on harassing me. I don't know why my eyes turn hate. Shit is really ugly. But anyway, I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations. Give T.I. a minute. He finna be walking around the house in this angle right here. And finna be giving y'all all the tea. You see where the got twisted? Never called you out your name. Never called you a bitch. You give me a video where I called you a bitch, I give you a million dollars. Where I call you a bitch at? Where did I call you a bitch? I never called you no bitch. Because she showed you that you called her a bitch. And give me my money. I don't want no apology. I don't want no nothing else. I don't even want to talk. Run me my money. But in the midst of all of that, T.I. and her met up again. And this is what they had to say. Every time something bad happened, there's an incredible opportunity for something good to happen. And I will be on his stand-up special on Netflix because he's going to get one because he's famous. And I'll be there. <laughs> I will be riding, if anybody, I won't ride a but I will ride a coattail. Um, hey, man. Hey, I ain't got nothing but love for you. I ain't got nothing but some integrity, I mean, love and respect for you. I and I think you have an incredible amount of integrity. And I think you handled yourself with integrity in this moment. And I think it's an incredible opportunity for us to be an example for other people who have discrepancies. Period. Child, I, I, I don't want no promised dreams. I don't want no fairy tales. I don't want that telling me I'll be on your show and he do no. Give me my one million. Put your money where your mouth is. You had all that mouth. Child, the club set you up and they gave me that clip. Clear as day, you was caught in 4K. Uh-uh, no ma'am. 
And then on top of that, if there was no clip, you was gonna let the world drag me. Now what if there was no clip, there was no evidence, the world was gonna drag that girl and her whole company career could have been over with off of something that you lie about. Now I love me some T.I. But run me my, run me my million. Run me my million. But you know, it is what it is. I guess they gonna come to an agreement, honey, and whatever the fuck they come up with, they come up with, and that's on it. Ain't none of our business. We just stay up out of it. But girl, I'm getting my coin. I'm getting my coin. I'm just saying. Period. And I said what I said. Anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it next case. Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Cora Ray versus Benadryl, or Benenza, Benenza, her daddy. So, Koi had went on the Breakfast Club, and when she was on there, she was discussing, like, you know, how her daddy had prematurely um, told everybody about the release of her song with Nicki Minaj and how, you know, upset her with woo woo and then Mr. the all that. She thought about how, you know, her daddy was broke. I guess, I don't know, he went on Clubhouse, and he was like, I was like, Dad. Yo, Neek, me and Neek are sleeping. We are mean house. We're sleeping. <laughs> Yo, in a mid sleep. Neek wake up like, oh my god, cool. He dad's on the shame of me. Just leave the Nicky song. I woke up like, no, my god, my, my life is over. And to me, she was just, you know, speaking her life and her truth and where she's come from and how she's made it to where she is now. Child, we know the whole family is kind of like, I don't want to say the whole family, but. These two give me like bipolar tea. Like they, they, you're happy one minute, you're not next minute, you love them this minute, you hate them that minute. And I'm just like, at this point, y'all just need to part ways and just, girl, it just fuck it. <laughs> Cause I'm tired of it. Um, so the daddy got mad and he came out, started running his mouth. She started running her mouth. At this point, I'm not gonna read all this shit. You can pause the video because I'm tired of y'all doing all Can y'all just make videos? All this typing, I, I, I don't even type text messages that long. Like, this is just too much to say on social media. Like, can y'all not call each other? I text each other. Like, at this, ooh, it's just so stressful. So basically what she was saying in all this scribble scrabble was, build a bridge, get over your hurt. I'm your daughter, this is what I'm supposed to do, but instead of you congratulating me and supporting me, you pick out me saying I, you're broke or whatever the case may be. You was just trying to get my mom and me to do the love of hip hop, or whatever, and we're just not with that no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you trying to scrounge up some money and find some ways to stay relevant when child just be grateful that your daughter is living in your legacy that you created. So I guess he didn't take all that she was saying and he was just like, you know what? You call me broke. You don't show me no respect. You trampling over me. And I get what he's trying to say. Without me, there would be no you. So just, you know, say thank you, daddy, whatever, for opening up at least a little bit of the door or cracking the door. Because, you know, really he didn't play a big part because I feel she would still make it even if he wasn't her daddy. But him being her daddy kind of played a little part. You know what I'm saying? But he wants to act like it just played this major part. But you know, don't take my word, fuck, I don't know. Sometimes it could be your own family and that's just so sad. Jesus Christ, you just always in some drama, just drama, 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 drama. Tell the tea about Nikki, tell the tea about his daughter. Drama, 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 drama. Just drama. Anyway, okay, fuck it. If it ain't about me, Koi, just don't mention your daddy. Next case. Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea is Asian Doll versus Candy Got Band. Now, one thing for sure and two things for certain, I'm not about to read all of this fucking bullshit. No. So, Asian had made a tweet telling that she was doing a drill and that, you know, she putting these bitches on to the music and the drill or whatever the case may be. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the tweet. You can pause and read it. Everybody know that Katie Got Band been doing drill. She been doing it. Like, in her Instagram bio, it says, Queen of Drill. She was that. And it's just so funny because girls be fighting over any little thing that don't need to be fighting for. Like, okay, granny, Queen of Drill. You the queen of this. You the queen of that. I mean, who the fuck gonna call themselves the princess? I'm the princess of drill. I'm the newbie of drill. Bitch, I'm the queen. I'm speaking it into existence. Point blank, the fuck, period. Get over it. But, you know, I guess everybody wants their entitlement and to know, like, hey, I'm the one that started this. This is me. This is where it originated from, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so then Katie got banned. She made this clap back to Asia in her song. Ooh, fuck, she pointed a drill. Oh, I'm the queen of the drill. Then she went online. They talked about it. Um, like, People could call themselves a king or a queen. Like we all kings and queens. Ain't no little ass and little use for me. But the moment 
people think they're going to come at me and disrespect my hard work, my legacy, my culture, my city, our movement, move it out the way. Let's go. Ain't nobody taking me off my throne because I am not the drill queen. I am the first lady. I am the drill queen. The president, Drillery Clinton herself. Who going to move me? Nobody from the rack or nowhere. I put in real work down there, like, let's go. And then all of a sudden, girl, then Miss Nikki, I love her, but baby, miss the miss the miss the miss the miss. She done wrote that woman on uh, Katie Got Bands, and then Katie Got Bands that came out and told the world that Nikki done wrote her. I'm just like, bitch, if Fumble the Bag was a person. Now, if Nikki wrote you, just leave it between y'all, and then y'all pop out with y'all song. But if the girl's gonna do a song with you, it's gone now, child. You done ring your mouth too much, you talk a lot. Okay, but anyway, y'all, I already knew that was gonna rub Asian the wrong way. Asian came out. Following up with, I got so much genuine love in me, but you bitches just waking up the beast or the demon or whatever the case may be, child. Cause you know, she, I, she really wanna work with Nikki, like really wanna work with her. But I'm just like, girl, you good enough. I mean, you may not be on Nikki level to her fans and to, to other people, but girl, you good. What's for you is for you. Stop worrying about somebody else putting you on and do your own thing. But child, she really want to work with Miss Nikki. Or uh, is I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, what is the beef with her, Nikki? Cause Nikki really did go and message that girl when they she knew that was in some beef. <laughs> oh, that's something I would do. I know y'all fussed with the bitch. I'ma go message the girl you fussed with. What's the cheese book? <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I mean, I live for it. So look, we with Asian Doll. Asian Doll, who is the queen of drill? What? You heard what I like, said. Huh? Who, the, who the queen? Damn, put them on FaceTime. <laughs> What's the next question? All right, cool. So when you drop a new music, because like everybody keeps saying you posted everything but music. So when you gonna no, drop No, no, no. I post music and I post everything else too. So you tell me that's what y'all, you know y'all So like. when the album comes. But I ain't gonna lie to you though. Let's do a drill. Now. Real, real soon, ain't gonna lie. Okay. I'm about to take over drill. I'm about to sign like a couple young girls. Mm -hmm. Probably guys too. Okay. What else am I do? Movies. Uh, I don't wanna say these two big announcements because it's too big to announce. That's going on. Mm -hmm. Long live King Bun. Okay. Queen of Drill. Let's okay. go. All right, so real quick, <laughs> last question. How do you feel that Katie Vance says she Queen of Drill? Why you say that? I'm asking you a question. Then I put them on FaceTime. I have etiquette. Jump like a dime. We ain't your Hopefully these rap girls get it together and stop beefing all the stuff that's not even worth it, girl. So, if it ain't about me, then let's get keen. It's okay. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Chriselle and Leslie. Now, Leslie, I want to feel bad for you, sweetie. I really do. But what the fuck did you think was going to happen? I mean, they gave you the book, they gave you the recipe, they gave you the instructions, everything, and you still fucked up. You still fucked with them. You still fell for it like a fucking fool. So you coming on here telling us this sad ass story, girl, and we knew you just didn't know. You don't really know a person in a month. I feel like you get to know a person when you start living with them and you spend a lot of time with them. A month is not enough. But in the beginning, like every other, every relationship out there, the beginning is always like honeymoon stage or whatever. Um, it's definitely one of those things, to be honest. But anytime that you saw us like not post for a really, for like four days, five days or whatever, every time that happened, there was a reason behind it. Petty arguments. I'm talking the most pettiest of the pettiest. That it didn't even make sense for it to go that long of us not talking. But whenever uh, there was an argument or disagreement, whatever, Chris wouldn't talk to me for three or four days, literally, while I was out in Texas. At that point, we was already um, intimate, and I wasn't. I would never be okay with me staying in someone's house and he's dipping in over there trying to sleep with somebody else at a studio. So that's why I asked him that. I was like, he did not just try to play me while I'm in the house and he's inviting someone to the studio. But that um, that situation got shut down. But I was like, Chris, did you invite somebody to the studio? I'm like, I didn't go. He was like, what are you talking about? 
he starts getting loud and he's like i didn't invite nobody look at the, the message he shows me the messages and from what it looked like he wasn't talking to her or invited her to a studio he even called her in front of me and i told him don't do that you don't have to do that he called her in front of me and she's like oh no i haven't spoken to you or whatever so that shut me down but in that conversation he was like you're not even my girl so don't ask me no questions about no girl no nothing and i was like oh stupid and then you want to make it seem like you just so hurt i'm sorry y'all probably get mad at me but i feel like when it was laid out for you you should know but then you want to come on social media being funny trying to make queen and clarence jealous and upset them and now you got slapped in the face with your own plan lord have mercy jesus well leslie what did we learn sweetie <laughs> out of all this don't get with somebody out of spite, okay? And that's what you did. You got with your ex-boyfriend's girlfriend's ex-baby daddy. How the fuck did that sound? Did you not think? And then on top of that, not just Queen, but the other girls. You know what? <laughs> Listen, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Child. So let's let this be known, baby. Chris, I love you, but I gotta say this. I know you my man, but I gotta say this. Two miserable people. <laughs> Cannot and will not make a successful relationship. If it ain't about me, let's keep key next. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got for um, the Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Let's get into this mess. First one, duck it, we have Wakayo Cyrus. Now this one kind of bothered me because the mother and the brother of the young boy that lost his life on the amusement park ride, right? So they have on their Facebook, they said he's canceled, he lied, he didn't send the money, woo, woo, woo. The mama said, oh, shout, and he blocked me. So they called him out for posting a fake screenshot of him donating the money. And then YKO was like, I ain't got to lie about nothing. He screen recorded showing that he really sent the money, that the money was going through. He put the rules and the regulations of how things work for the GoFundMe and why the money didn't get cleared as fast. And that kind of hurt my feelings because he's actually a really nice person. So he said the devil is busy. Then he showed the screenshots of what him and the mother talked about. Now, if these alleged screenshots are real, I'm sorry. Child, y'all won't be getting none for me. I am not obligated to give you anything. I offered, okay? I offered, and even if I reneged, a oh will. This is why people need to have life insurance. And I'm not trying to be rude to the family. I don't know their circumstances and what they go through. But this is why everybody should have life insurance because it's not anybody else's job to take care of your problem when life hits. So, the world ain't obligated to give you anything. Period. So if these are the messages, this is crazy. She said, well, you contacted me and then made several posts about how you were going to help. And then again, no expenses have been made. So please use the same platform you used to find me to tell everybody you did nothing. And please don't show up at my son's funeral. Be blessed. I was just like, if I read and please one more time, I'm going to have to teach her some new words. And then to say be blessed at the end, I really hate when people do that. When they say be blessed, don't be sarcastic, girl, because you ain't wishing me no blessings. But I just feel like don't feel as though you're entitled to somebody's money. Yes, he might have used it for clout or whatever the case may be, but let God handle that. I would have been like, if, once the funeral, if he did not send anything, once the funeral had went through, I would have been like, and shouts out to okay to Waki Osiris for not sending what he said he was going to send. And let it go. I don't want, if you don't want to send your money, I don't want your money. And it would have been that. And even after all of this right here, the proof of the money going through, and it's just, you know, on hold, because I guess it's a large amount of money being sent through. They still, did they even say anything? Did they apologize for trying to make him seem like a liar? I don't know, child, at this point. That's why you just can't help everybody. Everybody's not grateful. Everybody just won't, 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 won't. I don't know. The, this little boy needs to be resting. He lost his life out of something that was unfortunate and just sad. And y'all out here fussing. Jesus Christ. Well, Lord, have mercy. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next one, okay? We have Christian and Courtney. 
Now, Courtney is, I guess, a social media influencer. I have to go look up what she does. I haven't looked it up or whatever the case may be. And I'm not, really, I don't want to look it up. But child, apparently her and her boyfriend had gotten to an altercation. Allegedly saying that he was fussing with her. She was fussing with him. And then it led to her stabbing him. And there was pictures of blood on her, and it was just a lot, a whole lot of. Sunday evening, Miami police were called to the Pariso condos in Edgewater, where they found Christian stabbed near lifeless. Medics rushed him to Ryder Trauma, where he later died. Police say this was a domestic situation, and they detained a woman not too long after the stabbing after they arrived, but. She, Baker, acted, meaning that she had to involuntarily be taken to a mental health hospital. That woman has not been formally charged, so we are not identifying her. But Florida's Baker Act requires up to a 72-hour hold for evaluation. So, child, just recently after this man's death, this girl is seen out making polls. She's out to eat with her daddy and friends and, and just all of that. I'll videotape her right now. She, yeah, you should go. Yeah, you should go. Because you just killed your boyfriend. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and you, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So it sparked up conversation on the internet because they were saying she was supposedly distraught and suicidal and all this other stuff. But girl, you out and about living your life. So child and family came out and they want justice for their brother. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Because when the family came out, they made a statement that said they strongly disagree about the tweets that their brother made a long time ago, whatever the case may be, when he was supposedly in high school. And now they are calling for the community to come. <laughs> They're calling for the community to come together. Now, my question is, what community are you talking about? Because looking at these tweets right here, he's degrading black women, talking down on black women, just, ooh, just making black women like they just the scum of the earth, like they worse than shit on the bottom of your shoe from a dog. So what community are you talking to? I think you need to round your white community up <laughs> and ask them to help you with this situation because, I mean, God rest his soul, I'm so sorry this is the unfortunate situation, but don't come to the community that he was dogging out and talking so negatively on, and you know you need those women to rally up and help him. No, sir. <laughs> it don't work like that. You know that you was dogging these women so bad, only to get killed by the woman that you was praising. Oh my God, the irony. Well, <laughs> what y'all want for this time? Um. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, you know, I, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to sit this one out. And I, I mean, it's just sad. That's why you just, mm, that's sad. Well, <laughs> I hope they get justice for him though. I hope if she did do this out of ill intentions and just being a sick-minded individual, I hope she do have to, you know, do her time and he gets his justice, but yeah, I guess y'all gonna have to get some good lawyers and hope everything work out because they say that girl got some money. Black women, let me tell you something, boo. <laughs> this is not a fight for you. Next case. Next on the docket, we have Gilly King versus Will Khalifa. Now, Gilly, if you the train, baby, please, just say that because ain't nobody else, no other rapper, no other person, nobody said anything about Wiz Khalifa Dingaling being on the internet. I mean, if anything, these women love the Dingaling being on the internet. I love the Dingaling being on the internet. I mean, I want the Dingaling to be on the internet. We see enough titty and ass. Can we just see a little bit of Dingaling? Give me the Dingaling, okay? If you don't want to see the Dingaling, just unfollow him. It's that simple. So, Gilly, Gullah Gullah, whatever his name is, Island went on his social media and this is what he had to say about Wiz. Wiz Khalifa, man, I love you, brother. You know what I mean? I'm still riding around, you know, banging black and yellow. And when I see you again, you a legend, man. It's Pennsylvania, baby. Philly to Pittsburgh, but I had to unfollow him today, man. Every time I come on my page, man, you in your draws, man. You giving up strap and ball action, man. You know, every day, man, I can't do eight balls in the corner pocket every day when I wake up, man. So, you know, I had none follow you play. I love you though, man. Now, who's to say Wiz might have always wanted muscles his whole life or he did not appreciate his body or love his body and now he's got to a certain point in his life to where now he loves 
his body. And so he wants to show it off. You know, some people get, some people are big and they get skinny and they show their body off. Some women go get BBLs and and breast um, implants and show their body off. So why can't a man show his body off? And if you feel uncomfortable because your little peen get hard looking at him on your screen and you have to make yourself feel more of a man and call him out for being confident in his skin, then that's your problem. So Wiz Cliff comes back and he says this. All right, I'm only dressed this one time. The same would be telling me to put clothes on in the gym or unfollowing me because I make them uncomfortable. Y'all the same who laughed at people when they read in high school or said that you sound stupid because you sound smart. Y'all are negative. And you know what I do with negativity? See ya. People were saying, oh, Wiz is sensitive. He's this, he's that. How can y'all tell somebody how to feel? Maybe the man didn't like his body and he like it now. And you want him to stop showing himself because you don't like it. Nigga, fuck you. Period. So then Gullah Gullah got mad and he gonna say that Wiz got his page deleted. Whatever the case may be. No, Gullah Gullah, you dumb fuck. Wiz got fans, stupid. So his fans want you to fuck with him and they came and reported your page and that's how your page got deleted for bullying and harassment, stupid. Yo, old ass, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Coming here trying to start a mess. I don't even know how to get into the mess and end the mess. Now you just over here looking like a mess because you mad about the mess. So, bitch, you shouldn't have came in here talking no mess. Messy. So, get over the mess. Messy, messy. So, Liz comes out and he tells him, nigga, I didn't, child, I didn't get that child's Instagram taken down. You know what I'm saying? I, I even offered to help him get it back, but he declined. And I'm just like, okay. People were getting mad because it's like, Wiz, this man old enough to be your daddy. Why are you calling him a child? Woo, woo, woo. Yada, yada, yada. First of all, y'all not going to do is come for my man Wiz because bitch, you better come see about me. If it walk like a duck and quack like a duck, it's a duck. If it walk like a dog and bark like a dog, it's a dog. If it act like a child and do child shit, it's childish. So this man out here doing this childish ass shit, so Wiz want to call him a child, you fussing over an Instagram and you fussing over somebody being naked. Nigga, you childish. Grown ass man. So then he came back out and he said this. I appreciate all the support, man, too. You know, I got 100,000 followers in eight hours, right? Mm hmm They can't hold no real down. You know, I talked to that super soft, extra sensitive, suave, cotton, right? He said, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. He said, people was laughing at me, Gilly. I don't like to be laughed at. He said, I felt like you was bringing down another black man. I was like, N I told you to put some drawers on. I mean, because I told you to put some shorts over top of your drawers. I'm bringing down another black man. Yeah, so. Extra super soft, cottony swab. It's all good. You can't own a real act, though, man. I'm the streets, man. Got 30-something million followers and 400 comments. They don't matter no more. You hear me? They don't matter, baby. Plus, our money already in the bank. Right. So, I'm just like, girl, okay, now you mimping it, girl. You doing too much. Bitch, relax. Shut up. Be quiet. I heard somebody say, uh, I didn't get that child's Instagram taken down now. I don't, you know. From the streets, man, where you know you gotta stand on what you do and say. You got you gotta stand on that now. You put that energy out there, you gotta stand on it. Another thing, y'all think I should post his manager text messages from last night, apologizing for him? Okay, see, you didn't know they did that. You didn't know Will did that. You didn't know Will text me last night and apologize because he didn't know that you would do something like that. So you don't put your foot in your mouth, man. And the bottom line is, uh, your exact words was, I was hurt. I was extremely hurt. So my so my Instagram team, I'm strong over there. But I can get your page back. I can get your page back. Let's just sit down and talk, Gillian. I told you, fuck you and that page. What you talking about? I decline. You right, I decline. You and that page. Look, some folks out here talking about some hair. Y'all unfollowed me. Why, bitch? I'm trying to follow. Bitch, I followed you too. <laughs> <laughs> Keep putting your peen out there. I'm gonna look at it every day. You put out, I'm gonna fuck you. Put out on this motherfucker twenty sometimes. I'm gonna watch it every twenty fucking times. Anyway, 
That's a nice little meat too. <laughs> and it's about to be summertime. These skinny niggas gonna be out here with these shirts off and these thick, third legs swinging. Fuck is you talking about? If you insecure because your dick little, don't get mad at him. Get mad at your mom and daddy for fucking knowing that they will make another child with a small piece of meat. Fucker. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating this case. Next one, duck at, we have Jenny Young and Karina versus Jordan B. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Jordan. He was doing all that talking. And girl, look, you about to be a stepmama. <laughs> You about to be a stepmama. Oh, y'all child about to have a brother. That is so fun. I'm so excited for you, girl. So anyway, um, J.D. Youngin decides to post up this on his Instagram story of him and Karina, and she has a baby bump. And he was congratulating her, and he said, I love both y'all, whatever the case may be. And then Jordan gets a little upset, and she said the only reason he doing that is because she posted her up with another man on her story. Or well, girl, you probably did that because you found out that he had a baby on the way, and so you tried to make him mad, but girl, he turned around and made you mad. And we know you mad because your new boyfriend is not going to last. <laughs> They never do. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, girl. I'm just speaking the facts of what we see on the internet that you post. Anyway, well, I'm wishing you well because uh, you're going to have to be well. To <laughs> Let me stop. So I'm guessing everybody was telling her that her son's going to have a, you know, a little brother or sister, whatever case may be. So she took the internet and she was like, my child ain't got no siblings. I have one child and a sperm donor. But I'm just like, sis, you was just saying, oh, I'm in love with him. This is my man. And ooh, and <laughs> we on FaceTime. <laughs> She said she's changing her son name tomorrow. We ain't seen no paperwork. <laughs> we ain't seen no paperwork. Girl, you better keep that damn name. You change that name. He don't deal with that child. That's gonna be something else you're gonna be fussing about. Keep that damn child name. <laughs> Just doing all that talking for nothing. Ain't gonna do shit but y'all. So anyway, then, you know, a couple days pass and then she go and she posts this right here. Hot girl summer. I ain't fucking with no more drama. Like, I never knew I would be this happy completely single. Now, to me, when I see that, the, the big emphasis on single, she trying to show him she done with him. Don't convince us, sweetie. Convince yourself, okay? Because we know that that single girl, is you'll be back with him in a couple of more months. Next month, you'll be tweeting how you love him again. Like, fuck this shit. It feels so good and it's doing my body justice. Well, girl, I was trying to tell you that from the jump when you told us he was pissing on you. Allegedly, that's what I was trying to tell you. To let it go and be happy. But you were so mad at me attacking me that I was only trying to give you the blueprint on how to be a better woman. The child, but just wait till she had his baby. Oh, what? Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be all she wrote. 
this man gonna be posting that child, talking about how he love that child, and then it's gonna be, ooh, he doing for his other children and not mine, and I want child support, and ooh, it's gonna be a fucking roller coaster. She talking about she found peace and no more drama. Bitch, lie, Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Enjoy it while it's lasting, because you about to be on a roller coaster. If it ain't about me, let's keep keen. Let's keep. All right, y'all, that's all I got for Mr. Monday. I was going to talk about the Kevin Cole and the situation, but some people were saying it was fake and it was staged. I don't know. They said it was some type of plan that he had going on. I, to me, I don't know why Kayla would get involved with that because, you know, Kayla has her own brand. She has her own thing she's doing, so I don't know why she would do that to make her brand look bad messing with this guy. But they said since then, her boyfriend's sales and his clothes have been going up and the girl's Instagram, she got some followers off of it, so I don't know what type of scheme was going on. And then how did the girl get the gender reveal of Caleb you know before she even put it up but some people say you know since they were friends or whatever case it be allegedly that's how she got it I don't know so I want to get all deep into it and talk about it but that's what they said was going on. I was going to talk about the Will Smith and being banned for 10 years. I think that's excessive or whatever case may be woo 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 but you know it is what it is and Chris Rock talking about he ain't coming out until he get paid for an interview. So Miss Thane just want her coin and her brother out here fussing and he cussing on stage at his shows and they shows are selling out. To me, y'all is trying to milk it. Girl, you talking about no violence and you talking about violence. So which one is it? Does he slap or not slap? Where was y'all at anyway? If that's your brother, why the fuck did your brother get y'all tickets to come inside the Oscars? If you would have slapped my brother, fuck that shit. I'm coming on stage slapping you too. But where was y'all at? Y'all didn't have no ticket, but you're going hard for your private. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But anyway, make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter, send me the mess, and I will see y'all next Monday. And God only make one of you if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I will see you next Monday. Because, bitch, I didn't have none of this prepared. We winged it. Next case! Messy Monday. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on.